Hola, it's me, Trashkin. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video where I show you how to dominate lane and make the enemy team surrender at 5 minutes because you dominate lane so hard. Be level 9 by 7 minutes, absolutely destroy the enemy team so they're so low level in lane. So the key is scoring, actually. Most people don't realize this, but being able to score a lot of points when you can is so key. Obviously, the farm is the most important too. Kills are actually your third priority in lane. Kills actually don't do that much. You're going to get more experience off two of these Audinos in the bottom lane than off killing them. So a lot of people kind of prioritize killing way too much. You have to keep in mind, farm is king. Scoring is the best thing that you could do. Obviously, sometimes you're going to have to kill him to score. But building a huge level lead you can do without scoring by taking all the farm. And then you can probably kill him. So let's cover some basics in lane first. So obviously, the ideal way to hard stomp someone in lane is to take all the farm on their side, right? So they can't get a single farm. Now... This is hard to do because if you walk all the way on their side, you make yourself really susceptible um, because especially bottom lane, it's a very long lane and a jungler can come kill you. They, they can kind of chase you down the lane. If you get low, they have healing on their pad. So a lot of the times what you're going to want to do is go for this neutral farm is what we dub it, where it's kind of in the middle of the lane, right? So this is what you usually see people run the fight over. And this is good. Going for the top eight is good at first. Now, there's a lot of intricacies to whether you want to go on their side or our side. But the basics of it is that if you go on their side, you have to be strong enough to get the farm. If you go on their side and you don't get all of the farm, you are going to be screwed. Because what happens is the farm uh, takes a minute to respawn, right? So if you go on their side, you try to steal their farm and they get it. Now, their farm is going to respawn faster, so they're going to be able to get more levels faster than you um, on the second rotation, which you have to keep in mind because the lane phase is three minutes. So that's the basics. Now, let's talk about your secure on A9. So at the start of this game that I've been showing you clips of, I actually have the perfect 45 seconds. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. You want to use your icy wind to stun the person that is contesting the farm when it is kind of like around 40% health and then you use your powder snow to secure it at the same time and now again take any chance you can to score so I realize here I can just score and hit level four and when I evolve they can't hit me with invincibility frames and now I just secure the top left one so that is a master class of how to play the first 40 seconds efficiently and be way ahead now let's hop into the game uh, where I'm going to show you the full laning phase and how I made them surrender at 5 minutes. So, um, obviously when you're playing A9, I highly recommend going bot lane. Um, here's the build that I was running. I really like the new healing reduction item on A9 a lot. I was running it every game. I think it's, this is the best build you can run, so I highly recommend it. And obviously, only going bot lane is what I recommend as well. So here you can see I stunned both of them. So that is just a guaranteed secure on the farm. So I also get my powder snow in time to secure the top left one. So we're already up to farm. I'm level four. They're both level three. Um, Jungle Buck is playing in lane with me. He steals their berries and they do unfortunately get that one. But I just didn't have any moves up in time. So now the mid one's going to spawn and we contest it and they, they don't even walk up. I wall them off just in case, use my push, and now we are guaranteed level 5 for bees. So at this point, we see the jungler top. We know we can play really aggro. Uh, jungle Book is just going to go score again. Again, scoring is key, scoring whenever you can. You can see it's so annoying, they can't do anything about it. And I'm just waiting here in this bush to try to stun them a little. And normally, this, these attacks on their pad, uh, I wouldn't recommend because it's kind of wasted damage when they can just heal all of the damage back up. However, keep in mind, I'm running the new cursed item, which reduces healing on pat, so that allows us to do this. And now I'm already level six at eight minutes, 30 seconds. And level six is the biggest power spike on A9. Let me show you guys how to combo. So to combo correctly, you want to actually use Blizzard first and then Avalanche. So 
This is a very simple combo. Most people know, but I'm just covering for the people that don't know. This is much faster than just using Avalanche and then Blizzard. So you use your Blizzard first. So while they're getting pushed, you place the Avalanche behind them. You can actually do it in that order. And it makes your combo extremely fast compared to doing it in a different order. And this is really easy to do. Just work on your timing, go in and practice tool. Practice tool is your best friend. It's what me and Overlord use all the time. Anyways, let's get back into the game. Now at this point, I've secured pretty much 90% of the farm in lane. I'm have I'm gonna have a three level lead over this Lapras who's level four. I'm level seven, and th at this point you can see it's all about keeping track of their farm. It you have to immediately know when their farm's gonna spawn. I'm usually keeping track of the timer so I know beforehand before when it's gonna spawn, and you walk towards it and you secure it so they can't even get a single farm on their side. And that is the secret to success, guys. Uh, you have to keep track of the second rotation timers. So you know when the farm's going to spawn and how you can contest it. Obviously, the Mewtwo came, so I had to play a little safe here. And I go to Bees and secure the big one. And now here, it wouldn't be a slash video without a classic one-time slash int. So I walk up here thinking the Mewtwo has left, but they were actually in the bottom left Elbush. So I get caught out. Unfortunate int. But you can see... Even with the Mewtwo can't be my lane for a minute, even the Hoopas rotated down. So we've had like four people in our lane the whole time. I'm going to hit level nine still. So that is how I dominated the lane so hard. It made up for my int at that point. And our Umbreon's doing really well stalling here. And I'm going to be able to stop most of their scores. Um, So the int was really bad. But at the end of the day, we were dominating lane so much that it doesn't matter. Um... And they have four people in lane, so we're just doing our best to survive here. Obviously, Mewtwo Y is a lot of cancer to deal with. Um, but, yep, I'm going to trickle level 9 easily here. Uh, I'm actually just going to take this farm for level 9. And we rotate a 5 down for this bottom objective. Um, I, You can see I'm just waiting here for my cooldowns. And hit a huge 2-man combo into a 3-man unite, and they all die. So, that is... Something else to keep in mind with Ninetales, I've went over this a little in my Umbreon video, but basically knowing when to sit in a bush, because when you're in a bush, you're out of vision, they don't know where you are, and you have such a long range on your combo. So knowing how to abuse that vision um, to get a huge combo into Unite move is huge. And the next thing that's important is waiting for your cooldown. So after you used your moves, they're on like 10 second cooldowns, now you just want to back up. You actually just want to back up after you use your moves in a fight. And wait until they're up on cooldown again after. Um, so that is the secret to success. You want to... So you can see I use my moves just to zone her away. And then you want to run away. And then when the cooldowns are about to be back up, you run back in. So there's no point to be in the fight when your cooldowns are not up, right? And you can see me just farming efficiently macro here. So I have my Unite move back already and within a minute. And I'm just going to run top here and Unite moves them. Uh, I know they're in this bush here because I was watching the vision on the minimap beforehand. Again, one of my biggest tips is look at the minimap. It, it is so important for improving at the game. Even if you're going to play slightly worse, I highly recommend it. And we're just going to perma siege their pad here and break the pad. And see here... They're all dying on pad. I have the healing reduction move, so it's really good for these kind of siege things uh, where I can just kill them on pad. And they're just going to surrender off that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.